it must be very, very difficult to imagine the mindset of somebody who is willing to stab somebody else. Being a mother that's lost her son to this problem that we have of youth violence, I can say today that I'm, I've got a lot of hope. We're going to be rolling out a campaign. Peace is possible. Pam, just to explain to our listeners a bit more about who you are and what you do. People have labelled me many, many things, but from my perspective, who I am is I am a human being who has appreciation for peace. Prem Ruat has over 50 years of experience in helping people across the world. Audiences that come to see Prem sometimes exceed 400,000. Prem's peace work has had a profound impact on thousands and thousands of people. His message is for everyone, a message of hope and inspiration. Peace, he says, is possible. Today, tomorrow, we are painting Peace is Possible. Dwaynamics was founded three, four years ago for the late Dwayne, who was tragically killed in Brixton. So the issues, we've got gangs all around London. We're trying to keep the youngsters away from, from that, that system. You know, it's like an outbreak, and uh, we need to resolve it. One of the most important things about the Peace Education Program is people who have gone out and, and really lost touch with themselves. It really helps them to come back to themselves. I think this statement will make a difference rather than just being a piece of art that people don't necessarily look at. Thousands of people every day photograph this, Instagram it, and are spreading a message. What we've done over the last two days, we have totally communicated with a load of people. It's been like the most exciting like thing that I've done. When I met Prem, I said, Prem, I had to bury my son. He was murdered just seven minutes from my house. How am I gonna get through this? And he says, Lorraine, your light is on. You're doing it. Just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be okay. So I wasn't born, you know, a criminal or a person that goes to prison. So there's certain things within my life growing up that has influenced me to make certain decisions. The thing I think with these sort of events is it galvanises everyone together from all different walks of life to really sort of focus on what we're trying to achieve. It's about empowering, it's about knowing you. It's that realisation that makes you kind of, you know, have a eureka moment that, right, I need to change. The same person who can carry a knife and plunge it into another human being is quite capable of not only stopping it, but giving kindness and attention and preventing it. Peace doesn't have to be generated. Peace is already within, inside of us. It has to be discovered. We have discovered how to make wars. Now it is time to discover how to make peace. From the tragedy, there are those who learn to cry. And from tragedy, there are those who make the world smile with them. This is possible. This is possible.